Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Um, I'm going to go over a quick tutorial about how to create a screw in SolidWorks. Now, it's one of the most creative parts, you know, it's, it seems like such a basic thing that everyone should be able to do, but um, there aren't really that many good tutorials on YouTube about it, so I thought I'd make one myself. Um, there's a lot, of, there's a few problems that a lot of people have um, that I've seen that I had myself that I'll just try to fix up with uh, my tutorial. Yeah. Um, so first of all, create a new plot, and we're gonna essentially make the head of the screw on the top plane. So I'm just gonna sketch. Uh, we're gonna create a circle, and I'm gonna dimension it. Um, we're just gonna make a two centimeter head. Um, obviously you can tailor this to whatever you need. Um, we're not gonna exit sketch because it's gonna save some time. Gonna go into extrude boss and base. We'll make that five mil thick. We'll click OK. If then it's created. We're gonna fill at the top just to make it look nice. Something small, maybe about three mil. And uh, the bottom probably is filleted as well. Uh, much less, maybe one mil. There we go. There's there's the head of it. And if you can imagine like a Phillips head cross cut out, or you know maybe you you want to um, create a uh, a uh, a slot there for uh, the screwdriver. I don't know. It's really up to you. This is this is not really an important part of it. Um, you know, you can change it if you want, but whatever. You can you, you guys get the idea. But essentially, right now we're going to go onto the shaft. We're going to create the shaft from the bottom of it. Um, obviously it's going to be circular again, and we're going to dimension it again. Let's say about 8 mil. Yeah, there we go. That that looks all right. And we're going to extrude this. Let's say 5 centimeters. Again, you can you can customize it to whatever you want. But there we go. After it's, it's extruded. Um, hopefully you guys know how to do that. Um, next thing, generally screws have a little chamfer at the bottom. Just to make it look nice, something small, maybe about 1.5. Yeah, that looks about right. There we go. So now this next step is quite important. We're gonna create. What we need is a spiral, right? We're gonna use a spiral using this kind of uh, this option, and we're gonna sweep cut all the grooves out. So to to make a spiral, you need a circle to kind of define where it's gonna spiral around. So we're going to go on the bottom surface, we go from the origin, and we're just going to go out. Uh, go out 4 millimeters. So that, that will be the whole, the thickness of the original kind of shaft um, before the chamfer. And we're going to exit. So now we have this sketch. Um, this sketch is selected. If it's not selected, go helix and spiral, and then it's like select the circle for me. Just go here and select that circle. And there we have. Um, there we have it. Um, now I've just I've d done this kind of earlier, so the options have already set. But if you play around with this option, you get, you've got pitch and revolution, height and revolution, height and pitch. So there are ways you can define the spiral. Um, so I'm going to de define it by height and revolution. Um, sometimes you need to reverse the direction, sometimes you'll see the preview, which is the yellow part, um, go out this way, but obviously you want it on the actual uh, shaft of the screw itself. Um, mine is going to be 5 centimeters, and it's going to have 20 revolutions. So I'm going to click OK, and as you can see, that whole, that circle kind of disappears. That's because it's been used to define that spiral. All right. If you click on it, it kind of appears. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to create the geometry to sweep. Now a lot of people, they screw this up or they choose something which just does not work. So the best way to actually get this part actually on that spiral or the geometry that you're sweeping on the spiral is to use a plane that's defined with the spiral. So we're going to click on the spiral itself and then we're going to find that end and we're going to define it with A the spiral and B the point. Alright? 
So, there we go. As you can see, that's at a strange angle. Uh, this is why a lot of the times with the normal, uh, with the other YouTube tutorial that's out there, the one that's been watched a lot, it just, it doesn't work, really work that well. Um, so, this is plane one, as you can see here. What we're going to do, we're going to sketch on it. Um, if you rotate it around, you can kind of see where it's kind of started, right? So you got that little point there. Now, it's all right if it doesn't come up. Just draw something close to it, something like that, right? If you can use a circle. Some people, I think you can use a triangle as well. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on screws. But what, we, what we're going to do, we're going to add a relation between this and the line. We're going to add this pierce relation. So what's that? what that is going to do, it's going to move the center of the circle onto the very end of that spiral. As you can see, it's done there. Now, one of the problems that often occurs, I'm going to click OK to that relation, is they make the whole this geometry that you're sweeping is too big uh, so I remember I spent ages trying to figure out why I could not sweep and it was such a simple thing you cannot cut over it your, yourself it SolidWorks does not like that so if I click that you can see hey this is actually alright you know I'm going to click OK and as you can see, you probably don't want to do something like this because these would be very, very small. These times would be very small. But yeah, there's, there's a basic screw. Um, I'll show you what happens when it's actually too big. So if I'm going to edit this feature, um, I think actually uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete that feature. Not rename it, sorry. I'm going to delete that. All right. Now, if I make this too big, um, I should right click on that and edit that sketch should be able to pull it out if I make it way too big okay there we go and then I try to sweep it's it's gonna show me a preview but wait for it wait for it it's not it's not going to be able to do it um, so I'll I'm gonna click OK and what it's going to do it's going to go around and it's going to sweep onto itself like it's going to cut its own cut. And SolidWorks hates that and it refuses to allow you to do that. Um, so one of the things that you can do if you've done that is just to reduce the length of it. And I've forgotten to click edit sketch. You make it as small, as big as you want. Uh, within its limits exit that sketch again we're going to sweep this cut again and going to select that as the profile and the path is going to be this spiral we're going to cut it and we're going to have something that looks like a screw so that's um the foolproof way of making a screw uh one of the things that's done differently in this tutorial is that you're going to define um the plane and essentially this plane one of where you the geometry that you're going to cut away that's going to be defined using the spiral and its endpoint not just you know one of these basic planes because that 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 can go wrong quite easily um, a good rule of thumb is with any spline make sure you uh, if if you if you need to sweep cut it or you need to sweep boss or base it um, make sure that you've defined the ge the geometry that you're going to sweep uh, w using the the kind of spline using that c the the curves that you're making. Um, so you know if you are if you are kind of doing something like that, the best you you know you, you don't want to make a plane that's parallel to the top plane with this point and then sweep it. The best thing to do is to actually define the plane um, using the curve itself. That way it's a foolproof method and pretty much it will always sweep. Um, obviously if you do need if you do need it to be completely flat there's 
some other things that you can do with it as well. Anyway, there's a quick tutorial on how to actually create a uh, screw. And hopefully that helps you guys if you guys have any problems with it. Um, so yeah, delete that sketch and let's, uh, let's just clean this up. Let's hide that. Let's hide plane one, and there we there we have it. There's a, a basic screw. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.